Today, we are going to talk about one of the most controversial and extravagant train projects ever created. We're talking about Dubai's underwater floating train. Many would wonder what this project is going to look like when finished and how it is going to operate. Perhaps you want to know the secret behind it. So if you want to know more about this magnificent train, and if this topic is intriguing to you, then stay with us and let's dive into the secrets behind Dubai's underwater floating train. Dubai's underwater floating train. Dubai is one of the best places on earth. It represents the most eminent city in the United Arab Emirates and also the capital of the Emirate of Dubai. Dubai is located east of the Arabian Peninsula, also of the Persian Gulf. When we talk about Dubai, we can say that it is for sure representing the business center of Western Asia. But not only that, but it is the biggest global transport center too. It has it all. Dubai represents the center of a modern architecture, an innovative place where you can find the biggest, most lavish skyscrapers ever created. The visionary and advanced metropolis has numerous international renowned plans such as the Palm Islands, the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Frame, and even more. There are various projects that are actually on their way to manifestation. If you are about to visit Dubai, you are going to feel as if you are stepping into another dimension and a new reality, that's for sure. We all know that Dubai is one of the most affluent cities in the entire world. Let's be honest, it's not called the city of gold for nothing. In fact, you can literally pull out a brick of gold from ATMs, which is not possible in any other city rather than in this one. They really know where to invest their money and make the city look as luxurious and modernized place. Out of all of the beautiful places, buildings, we must first mention this marvelous construction. The Burj Khalifa with 163 floors and 828 meters height represents one of the tallest structures ever created. Since the moment it was announced as that, it became a real attraction. And further, if we want to focus more on this magnificent skyscraper and its creation, we can say that it possesses a longest travel distance elevator ever created. People are fascinated whenever they visit it. It is also famous for its most occupied floor in the entire world, for having the highest observation deck with the best view ever. But now, let's see the second most eminent tower, and that's the Shanghai Tower with its 2,073 feet, and it represents also one of the tallest buildings ever. If you take a look at it, you might wonder why it might cost them to create this magnificent and enormous tower. The answer is, unbelievably, one and a half billion dollars. Although this building is currently the tallest in the world, this does not mean that it will remain so. Many other cities are making projects for much larger buildings and skyscrapers, but it remains for us to wait and see what they will create. But those who actually choose to live there and who have plans to settle in the future, they'll for sure need some fast and efficient transport that will push the boundaries of the current way of transporting. That is why they decided to create one of the biggest projects ever. The engineers of this city are about to create one of the fastest trains ever, accelerating up to 760 miles an hour or 1,220 kilometers an hour. What makes this train unique is its phenomenal capabilities. It's going to leave you speechless, and that's for sure. The plan for it is to be able to travel through the vacuum created tube. The required conditions are created thanks to the air resistance that actually helps this incredible train to achieve an ultrasonic speed. The secret to the powerful magnets that are pushing the train forwards and also give this jaw dropping train a spaceship outlook. What's your opinion on this guys? Do you like the whole idea? But that's not all. Stay with us because we're going to reveal it all about this incredible train. Did you know that the train is going to connect Dubai and Abu Dhabi, which are considered the two biggest countries in the entire country? If you are wondering about the distance between these two, it's around 87 miles or 140 kilometers, which means that if you want to go from one city to another, it will take you more than one hour and a half driving. And prepare yourself to hear this. The incredible train is going to be able to reach the same distance in only 12 minutes. 
Isn't that amazing? And you don't need to wait a whole decade if you know the preparation of the same truck began in 2016 and is about to be finished in 2025. Did you know that the government also has a huge plan that somehow connects the cities in the Middle East by creating an unbelievable transportation network? If you want to go from the capital of Qatar to the capital of the UAR, it is going to take you 9 hours, while on the train, it's only going to take you 48 minutes. Isn't that fascinating? And did you know that the tunnel in some areas is planned to go underwater? Because there's no other way to connect to the roads. How amazing is that? And if you are wondering how they are going to manage to build this marvelous construction underwater, let us explain that. Chosen Arab engineers are going to create a railroad in the US in just 30 minutes, and you are overthinking and doubting things by the thought of this, that it would represent some kind of problem for them? We don't think so. Guys, while learning about this incredible project, are you somehow finding yourself somehow ahead of time? Like in some unrealistic future? We are sure of that because this is something that is going to be on a totally next level. But guys, imagine this train comes up as worthy, then it's going to be built all around the world. But let's stay down to earth and stay real for a moment. Some less developed countries and cities in the world are still having a primitive way of transportation. And imagine what this is going to look like for them. It would be an absolute miracle. Let's, for example, focus on transportation in India and say our lives hanging on the reach of their destination. But that's not in their power, right? In India, there are 1.3 billion people, so trains are one of the most common ways of transportation in this poor country. Calculated annually, 23 million Indian people are using the train as their way of transportation. But that's nothing compared to Colombia. They have one of the weirdest ways of transportation. If you can research deeper and look into the whole picture closely enough, you are going to conclude that it all looks and makes one think think that they live in a period of post-apocalypse. Instead of a regular train, they use the so-called motorcycle train. What's that even for? This is something that was created and invented by the local population. They succeeded in creating a motorcycle in such a way that it is possible to connect it to one rail. The thing can hold five passengers without a driver. One of the most innovative trains, we must admit, but it's still so primitive, right? But what when two motorcycles come to cross one another? It is obvious that they could not anyhow pass one another because the one construction is taking the whole line. So one motorcycle is positioned on the left rail and the other is on the right so the wooden platforms can be switched by hand and they can continue with their travel. Plus this kind of transport is known to be safer than any other in the area. This type of transport is found between Bali and Bonaventura. And guys, can you imagine that this is actually happening at the same time with the other bigger cities such as Dubai where trains underwater are going to be constructed? It's kind of hard to believe it, but of course we cannot blame the places themselves. It is a big difference in the economic power of the given cities. But still, the difference in transport is visibly enormous. Imagine riding your whole life on wooden platform motorcycles in Colombia and suddenly appear in Dubai and find yourself in a train that passes at an abnormal speed and also goes underwater. It would be a shock to those who will have that chance to experience that drastic difference in transportation. But the fact that some of these cities are still lagging behind and surviving while some countries are working on futuristic projects is inevitable. Furthermore, imagine such futuristic trains being set up as a regular means of transport in any city all across the world, and even yours whenever you are right now. It would seem crazy. But it is even crazier than it is so likely for that to happen in the near future. As we mentioned, this train in Dubai is scheduled to be completed in 2025, and that is not that far away, right? Guys, that'd be it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment in our comment section below about the best part of this video. What's your thoughts on this marvelous topic, and do you like the idea of futuristic trains and the way it's going to be operating? Also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more thrilling info like this, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of them. And of course, thank you so much for watching, see ya in our next video.